היי מייט, אהם אלכס. אהלן גסון. Welcome to power mates. This is a place to learn and share about fabric and power platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to dive into the connectivity with Dataverse from Microsoft Fabric via shortcuts. Yeah, right on Alex, let's check a little bit on the details on this feature we are going to be giving all in the description of this video to check and learn more about shortcuts. Yeah, okay, Astrona, and, and let's try to track some of those uh, options. Uh, let's start with a quick uh, recap on where we can check for our Dataverse environment and how to architecture land with our Power Platform space. So let me share my screen right now. Uh, let's go to, to my machine so we can review uh, quickly here. So first of all, this is a, a power app uh, we built uh, with Gaston just for demo purpose. What this application does is like uh, uh, works with uh, how to manage, let's sample like how to manage Power BI li licenses. So we create that, uh, Power up uh, for demo proposal so that you can see here, for example, if I select one of the license and edit here, I have like the user ID, the type of the license, pro, premium, per, per user, the expiration date, the sign it date. So it's just a simple application that we used for demo proposal to uh, manage uh, uh, Power BI uh, licenses. So, but Let's change here to my other tab here. This is like the Dataverse. You no, know? if you uh, access to make.powerapp.com or make.powerautomate.com and you came into the table section, you are going to be, be seeing your Dataverse tables. So you have recommended one, the custom ones are the table you create specifically and all that is are all the tables. So in the custom section, you are going to see our license audit. This is the table that is being used by the Power App I, I just showed. So if we open the license audit, we can see here that we have uh, different columns, the data here from the user, Shandow, the license pro, assigning, and, and all the stuff. But also, uh, one last point is if you access here in the right top menu here and click on settings, you can see here developer resources here. And then if you click on developer resource, you're going to get those all the information that uh, we are going to need for the next step for connect uh, from Microsoft Fabric to data apps. the environment id the 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 endpoint you know and the organization id and all the stuff that you are going to need so uh, usually uh, gaston connect uh, from uh, fabric to dataverse using uh, pipelines he is going to explain better pipeline and now we are going to show another way to show that so please gaston uh, please uh, you can you show us the different way to connect? Yeah, right on, Alex. So let's uh, do this. Let's head over directly to my machine and recap exactly on this track. So first of all, remember always homepage of Microsoft Fabric so you can access to the homepage. And then what I'm going to do is switching back to my load. In my case, I'm going to open the data engineer load uh, scenario. I'm going to uh, briefly capture on, first of all, the way that we've been showing before, that is loading data from Dataverse leveraging the pipeline. This is a scenario. You can check uh, one of our videos where we showcase how to create a data pipeline and we create the connection back here for the copy activity command. So we did a connection where Alex uh, shared with me the 
environment, the organization ID, then service principal, client ID, secret key that we need to put in place the connection between the pipeline and landing data. In this case, this scenario, the destination is one of our lake house. So this is one option is copy activity command in a data pipeline. That is option to connect to the dataverse or behind the scenes, the power apps that Alex was implementing for licensing. The other option, of course, and that's exactly what we would love to discuss today is I can open my lake house structure. You can see and remember that in our lake house, you have the section for structured data, section for unstructured data. And then what we are gonna be doing is I have this table of license. This is the license table coming directly from the pipeline process. And we are connecting this table via data pipeline, landing data into the lake house. And this is a structure that comes directly from Dataverse. The next option is I can go to tables right away here, click on the three options here, and right away have the option to create a new shortcut. So. In our scenario, I'm gonna click in the new shortcut. Remember that there's two different options in terms of shortcuts. You can access and shortcut via internal sources. That means that you can connect to any other artifacts within the one lake structure. So I, if I click on one lake, it's gonna show me all the artifacts and I can do shortcuts from my lake house connecting to another table in another lake house or connecting to a warehouse or latest uh, mirror database. And we shared that in our uh, video from the last week. Then what we can do is actually the other option for shortcuts is going back again and you can access any of the external sources. And that means that you can connect to Amazon S3, Amazon S3 buckets or Azure Data Lake or even here, Dataverse, or the latest one is Google Cloud Storage, and you can connect to GCP. In our scenario, I'm going to connect to this one, that is the Dataverse, and let's check what we need in this case. We can, of course, if we already have a connection and we have multiple connections to different Dataverses, so I can click on the existing connection, or I can click on this option, create new connections, and when I click on this option, create new connection. What I need is going back to Alex and say, hey, Alex, can you give me the environment domain? That is exactly what Alex was sharing before in the developer settings out of the Power App. So I'm exactly. gonna just copy from Alex environment here. I can copy paste that environment domain and then I can get the connection up and running, or I can hit the option of create a new connection for me. I'm gonna hit in this new connection just to showcase this one. Uh, video, Dataverse, and I can sign in with my organizational account. And after I sign in, I'm gonna connect in and create these connections to Dataverse. So that can reuse in multiple, let's say that I'm leveraging this to connect to one of my tables, I can reuse these connections to uh, keep inserting and keep embedding more tables out of my Dataverse. So I can reuse that connection. In our scenario, I hit next right away, and then I'm gonna look to the table that I need here, I'm gonna, connect with this table that is the license audit table. I'm gonna hit, as you can see, one of the options that the product team came out is you can click on multiple mm -hmm. uh, tables and you don't need to create one by one in multiple shortcuts. The same shortcut allow you to click in multiple tables and get the shortcut up and running to your lake house. So in our case, I just click on this option connect to the license table. And as you can see, I am bringing, this is my license table right here. You can see the little icon in top of this one that show that is a shortcut to my license table. And then after I click on this one, I can navigate all the data coming directly from 
the uh, dataverse and uh, you can check all the details that Alex was sharing before from the Power Apps environment. So this is a shortcut that is going to be pretty much latest data, all the updates coming from Dataverse. So if Alex keep adding more data into Dataverse, that is going to be up and running, connecting via shortcut with the latest data into my lake house. From here, up to you. You can create a semantic model, you can create a Power BI report on top of that, but all your data coming from Power Apps is up and running with the latest data coming from the shortcut. That's awesome. And, and one comment on, on that side is like, uh, you mentioned that, okay, you don't need to create multiple uh, shortcuts or connections uh, for the different tables. So if you have different environment, you have like different three or four different environment for different or areas in your company. Yeah, you need to create one shortcut, but just you need one shortcut per environment. So this is something that you need to decide, but yeah. Um, so, okay, PowerMate, that's all for today. Uh, so. As usual, leave some of your comments, like the video. So we want to, to continue showcases you, these new features So in, in the upcoming videos. So yeah, uh, please comment, like the video so we can continue doing that. Yeah, right on. Uh, stay tuned for more in-depth insights, tutorials, and exciting news. We're right here in our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. Yep.